Matt was there with John and Gloria wants to play video games with them. And I just finished downloading the new Mickey Mouse game, the Island of Illusion. Illusion. Right, right, right. And um, and first of all, like Matt in particular was like, Jesus Christ, like the amount of ever drives and and dream. I don't know, like on, he was like, how much money have you spent on bullshit? <laughs> I was just like, well, it. I don't buy cars, you know, I don't buy boats like I bought, you know, but I get like, yeah, he made me feel a bit like kind of like a like a rich kid from the 80s. <laughs> like, I don't look, don't look behind me. <laughs> yeah, surrounded by my, by my, my duck hunts and stuff. <laughs> telling him that the, the power glove is so bad. <laughs> it's so bad. I love the power glove. It's so bad. This guy's got everything to be a pro gamer. <laughs> um, and uh, it's time to play the games. <laughs> so we play we played uh, that Mickey game for a little while and the animation style is really cool. And it plays OK and it's funny. What was cute about it was Glow, myself, John and Matt played four player. And so that was pretty uh, fun for about that's an, hour, cool. an hour. There's the four of us. You know, Gloria always was the one struggling with jumps and stuff. We we're always helping her and she gets to get the key. It was cute. But yeah, it's something about like, I don't know, the background art or something. After a while, it got very dreary and very samey samey. And oh. I haven't I haven't picked it up since then. But the anime, like there's like a, it's there's a full blown movie in this video. game, oh. like animated movie, basically. And I have to be honest, like I think like Mickey Mania for Sega Genesis looks better to me. Yeah, of course. Uh, yeah, I saw the art. It kind of reminds me of, I don't know, modern like DuckTales or something, you know, yeah. really, that kind of art. Then we got bored of it and Matt was like, show me something else. Like, cause Matt, Matt plays a lot of emulation, but he doesn't play modern stuff. He doesn't have a switch. John doesn't have a switch. And they, th those two in particular, I quickly learned, like they love to be introduced to pixel art, modern pixel art games, like blazing Chrome, the kind of the like, Contra ripoff. I popped that on, but they were, they were loving all that stuff. And, <laughs> but they'd watch me like play, die and then quit. <laughs> they were like, Jesus, like I was just like giving up on shit so fast. I was like, Never mind then. You're just going to kill me. I tried to show him Yoshi's Crafted World because I think that it's just, I think the art and creativity in that game uh -huh. is awesome. And I thought they would be a little more charmed by it. But Matt was like, this is too much for babies. <laughs> yeah. I, I I don't know what it is about modern pixel art games specifically. Yeah. I just can't get into them. I, I appreciate them. And I, I think you know, I've gotten into a few of them like Shovel Knight. That's right. a fun one. But. I don't know. I just like after a while, it feels too false to me. Like it's a copy of a copy. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. That's a good way to put it. Like it's it feels like. um, And also not to mention, like when the game plays that smooth, like 60 frames per second, it's widescreen, it's HD. The art is more sophisticated than you would expect. It's it's all cool at first. We're like, oh, it's in the style, but it it plays so much better. But somehow like you're like well then why is it pixel art <laughs> like, yeah exactly yeah it ends up feeling false in a in a weird but yeah it feels inauthentic in a strange way but there's definitely been ones i've enjoyed like um well i guess there's like kind of two categories there's the ones that are pixel art styled but otherwise they're just modern games right and then there's the ones that straight up like there, there's quite a few that you know were made for sega genesis or nes and they also came out on switch and I tend to like those better, honestly, like um, Demons of Asterborg or there's one. There's a, like a Jay and Silent Bob Mall Brawl NES game that like I, I, people are saying <laughs> is pretty great. It's like a, a beat em up uh, of Jay and Silent Bob for NES. And so I want to <laughs> check that out at some point. I've been playing a, a little bit of Euphoria. It's a PAL exclusive NES game. You ever play that? I, I've heard of it. Yeah, you you, you give that a, a look. <laughs> you, you, you yeah, like you, that. You, now you now um, you. <laughs> It's uh, I, it, I do know of it. Yeah, it's awesome. It's it's like uh, you can switch character, like switch between four characters a la Little Samson. You unlock them mm -hmm. relatively quickly in the game. And then there's a big old map and you walk around the big old map and you get abilities and you get through the game. And it's <laughs> um, and but the animation is super good. Like the fact that this and it was, it's unsoft, by the way. Oh, yeah, man. Yeah, I got to load that up. And the fact that it never came to uh to america is like such a bummer because it's not a it's not a famicom game it's an nes game it's yeah pal region only yeah it's it's always you know there's the forbidden fruit games you know like yeah. that one uh on super nintendo there's the terra enigma there's there's some games that and i haven't i haven't actually played either of those games enough to 
form an opinion about them, but I, that's that's a good that's a good idea to to play those. Oh, I I finally after so many years, I I love Aladdin for Genesis. I've talked about it before, but um, Gloria was going through a real Aladdin phase. And when it, whenever she goes through like a, a classic movie phase, I'm like, all right, what are the games? And um, so I was like, I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna, we're gonna play, you know, on my on my FX Pack Pro even. We're going to play through um, Aladdin for SNES. And, you know, while I remain a fan of the Genesis one over the SNES one, it wasn't nearly as bad as I thought it was. It was actually quite good. I mean, it's Capcom. And, yeah, it's yeah. it's a, it definitely the animation's not as good, but the, you know, Capcom fundamental gameplay is is solid. It, the it's, um uh the conceit of it, the, the 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 way that he jumps and bounces, that's kind of the that's the whole point of the game. It plays nicely. I don't get it. Yeah. Like why Aladdin got so much of a better treatment than <laughs> Little Mermaid, Lion King, Beauty and the Beast. Beauty and the Beast got fucked. <laughs> well, the Little Mermaid NES game's not that bad, right? Yeah, it's pretty good. I actually, I actually played through that whole thing pretty recently. I, I, mean, I, I, I had a good time. It was definitely own, better than I, the 2023 movie. I owned it as a kid, um, which is weird. Like that, my parents bought me a Little Mermaid video game. I don't even think I wanted it. I just got it, <laughs> and it, but I played through it and it was I remember it being like really fun. And I, I I was able to beat it. And so that was like a fun thing for me. And I didn't even know it was Capcom until later. And I'm like, oh, of course it was Capcom. <laughs> we tried to play um, Bell's Quest or whatever, the, the girl version of Beauty and the Beast <laughs> for Sega Genesis. And I got through quite a bit of it. But what it is, is like it, it the first level is like point and click. And so you're just walking through town. It's the. Look, there she goes, that girl is strange, but special. <laughs> and there's this part where LeFou is looking for you. So, like, it's like, <laughs> uh, uh, Gaston wants to me to you. <laughs> <laughs> w- walking up and down, and LeFou keeps looking for you, and you get to hide in, like, little crevices in, in the background of the level. <laughs> Gloria just kept doing that. <laughs> that you eventually can manipulate Gaston into moving a big rock for you to keep going. That's how it works. I'm sitting there going like, this is a pretty sexist game. <laughs> <laughs> but then the next level is like, you have to, it's some stupid puzzle in order to get through the woods. And then the next one is this impossible puzzle as you're walking through the, um, the castle, trying to like figure out your way through the castle. I think you're trying to get to the West wing or something. It's not an action platformer. But she can hardly jump and she can hardly duck. But there are like bats and shit trying to hit you. And like, so you could die really easily, but the game doesn't give you the tools to avoid them. And then the the puzzle is near impossible. And I'm just, I'm sitting there going like, so they thought like, oh, action adventures for boys. And like, whatever this is, this is for girls. So I was like, I don't know a girl alive <laughs> that would enjoy this. I don't know a human alive that would enjoy it. <laughs> I think, yeah, they just didn't know what girls wanted. That's why, that's why I call it sexist. Cause I'm just like, I, this is somebody approximating what maybe what a girl might like. <laughs> we could maybe do some play testing or something. It's horrible. But there is, a, I finally actually, I played the SNES Beauty and the Beast and um, you play as Beast the whole time. It's more similar to that roar of the beast game i'd say it's slightly, oh, right. slightly better but it's it's pretty pretty shit and beauty and the beast got got it be- and there is and the, that's why i was thinking of it there is a pal exclusive nes beauty and the beast game where you also play as the beast ah was that any did you play that one no yet? it's not good <laughs> <laughs> god awful subscribe to red cow entertainment on patreon for full episodes every other week